I think that we live in a society that where we are, I couldn't describe it better, uh, jagged. Do you, do you know what I mean? There's incoming and it's a bombardment because we can't hold enough information. I mean, we don't have the bandwidth for this and our brains really don't understand how to adjust to the 21st century. They're still pretty primitive. Um, so frazzled to me was a perfect word. You know, I wrote about mental illness at one point. <laughs> you know, I'm not making a career out of it. So there was a, a time I did a show because I happened to be outed by Comic Relief who put a poster up with me being depressed. Mm -hmm. So I did it in mental institutions and then it went kind of worldwide in real theaters. That was that and obviously you have to keep reinventing. So by the time I got to Frazzled, it is for everybody's brain. Everybody's frazzled. Nine years ago I had my last bout of serious, serious where you can't get off a chair, it's too daunting. And I thought, now I'm gonna do something. I've paid too much to shrinks, you know, screaming fix me at two in the morning. And I, they're just human beings. I think they're good to get a narrative. You need a life story, but who knows if it's the real life story. Anyway, mindfulness seemed to be something that you can do yourself. And I do believe in neuroplasticity. So I thought, let's do something where you learn self-regulation. And I knew you could.